Hello my dear students and viewers welcome to my channel Scorpio class In this video we are going to discuss the revised syllabus 2022 of class 10 history And in this video we are going to discuss the question and answers of the chapter social and religious reform movements So this video is going to be very helpful and informative for you all so stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it And my dear viewers, if you want all the other notes of class ten history and sociology and other sub sub subjects of social science, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link where you will find all the videos containing notes. You will also find the playlist link of class ten English, and you'll get all the English notes over there. And the link will also be shared in the i button above. So let's get started now. But before that, if you are new to my channel and watching my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Now let's move ahead with our first main. Fill in the blank with suitable words. First one, the nineteenth century is called the period of dash. Answer is Indian Renaissance. Next. Raja Ram Mohan Roy started the newspaper Dash. Answer is Samvada Kaumudi. Next, the founder of Prarthana Samaj was Dash. Answer is Doctor Atmaram Panturang. Next, Dash propagated that freedom was the basic necessity of every individual. Answer is Mahatma Jyoti Ba Phule. Next, Swami Vivekananda's guru was Dash. Answer is Ramakrishna Paramahams. So we have finished with first main. Now let's go to second main question and answers. First question is: What are the preachings of the Brahmo Samaj? Answer: The preachings of the Brahmo Samaj are opposing idol worship, opposing exploitation of women. supporting the prohibition of sati encouraging monotheism opposing priestly class and condemning performance of yagas and rituals next question analyze the call of dayan and the saraswati to return to the vedas answer dayan and the saraswati believe that Vedas were the source of truth knowledge. He traveled throughout the country giving lectures and gave importance to Vedas. Therefore, he gave a call to the people to return to the Vedas so that they could get the knowledge of truth. Next, explain the reforms propagated by Satya Shodak Samaj. Answer The reforms propagated by Satya Shodak Samaj. It urged for prohibition of liquor. It opposed gender inequality, denial of human rights, exploitation of people, and practice of untouchability. It started a movement for social justice. Jyoti Ba Phule established a primary school for girls. He condemned the slavery being forced on shudras and casteless classes, including Dalits. He advocated free and compulsory education in order to bring about reform in the social system. Next question: Analyze the objectives of the Aligarh movement. Answer: The objectives of the Aligarh movement. promoting harmony of eastern and western ideas through the transformation of muslims and their political social educational religious and philosophical beliefs providing modern education to the muslim community sir said ahmed khan started the anglo oriental school which has become today as Aligarh Muslim University providing religious education creating a modern society through western education supporting female literacy and 
condemning polygamy and ideas against widow remarriage so these are the objectives of aligarh movement explain the vision of ramakrishna mission answer the vision of ramakrishna mission ramakrishna's mission has provided a unique contribution to india's spiritual growth nationalistic awareness and cultural development one has to attain moksha through jnana and bhakti said ramakrishna and his life itself was an example of this model he had believed that all religions advocate the same he also believed that there are many ways of attaining moksha he said idol worship is inevitable next question swami vivekananda was a great inspiration to the youth explain answer swami vivekananda was a great inspiration to the youth because he worked to establish a caste society as he could see that the society was deeply involved with caste based discrimination he also noticed exploitation poverty illiteracy and divisions among the indians vivekananda believed that people should be educated first and then they themselves seek reformation he believed it is the duty of the religion to provide light the one who responds to the poor is mahatma and the one who doesn't is duratma the westerners could understand the cultural richness of india with the help of speech delivered by swami vivekananda of chicago city in world religious congress in 1893 his thoughts provided the impetus to the freedom struggle and he asserted that freedom includes social equality also so this are the points which gives you information about how swami vivekananda was a great inspiration to the youth now next question which are the reforms brought about by annie besant answer the reforms brought about by annie besant are she aroused pride in indian culture through her lectures she attempted to establish equality universal brotherhood and harmony in society she gave full support to indian struggle for freedom as a token of this she started home rule movement in 1960 she contributed immensely to indian philosophy and freedom struggle so with this question answers we come to an end with the notes of this chapter i hope this answers were helpful and informative for you all if you found the video helpful informative and if you liked it do hit the like button and share it with your friends do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more such videos